Hey guys, what's up? It's Nguyen, I'm having a good day. And today we'll be discussing tanks you could get for your friends. Obviously, very close friends, as these are expensive. The most expensive one will top out at $4.3 million, and the least expensive one is $3,000. Now, let's start off with the BMP-1. This is an IFV, or, or infantry fighting vehicle. And I don't want to talk too much about the armament, because you won't be able to use it, at least if you're here in the United States. But I do want to say you've got plenty of room, decent mobility, and guess what? You can cross rivers. Like I said, plenty of room for your friends, pets, whatnot. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. I, it, like you see in the top right, it tops out at about 1 million per unit. And that's all I really have to say about it. For now, at least. Our next tank is the M4 Sherman. Now, this used to be like $80,000 a unit. Sorry, 65000 But, inflation... So now it averages at like 700,000. Now it has a rudimentary stabilizer. Not that you'll need it. Decent mobility. And room for five. Not that that would be comfortable. But there's room. And that's with a full combat ammo load. So... You might have room to comfortably fit five people. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have seat belts, like most tanks, so don't count on that. It has decent mobility, and as it is a tank, it would be very hard to break. And that's it for this segment. This is the BMP2. If you don't want to see another BMP, Skip forward about two minutes. The BMP-2 is an IFV. It has a fast-firing 20mm gun and ATGMs. And room for three essential crew members. The driver, the commander, and the gunner. Now, I kind of like this. Kind of like the idea of it. Like I said, room for your friends. Um, that's all, really. Also, can we just talk about geese for a second? Frickin' cobra chickens think they own the world. That's all I have to say on geese for now. And, not much else on the BMP, too. You won't see any more BMPs in this video, I promise. And, uh, that's it. This is the T-55. This tank costs 30000 to 50000 The 50000 version includes spare parts. The $30,000 version doesn't. This is the third cheapest tank on the list. And this is... A tank, not an IFV, so you'll only have room for four people. Like I said, this is with ammunition, so you might have room for one more to squat somewhere or something. But yeah, like I said, I don't want to talk too much about weaponry. It's got decent mobility, I'd say. This you want to buy it from a country in Eastern Europe, and this is one of the most prolific tanks ever. Uh, that's it for this segment. Now I tried to include gameplay for every tank. 
I simply don't have the Chieftain Mark 10 in War Thunder. And so you'll have to deal with this. It was plagued by reliability issues in its early phase, but now it has a decent gun with a stabilizer due to transmission, suspension, and engine adjustments. It also has plenty of armor. Like I said, tank, not IFV. This is 13,000 to 65,000. So, not horribly expensive. You also have smoke grenade launchers, which, if you can get smoke grenades, I think you can actually use. Now, the exhaust doesn't look smokeless to me. But maybe it is. Uh, I don't think it is, though. You might like this. Um, it's not a huge tank. A lot of these tanks, if you have a big enough driveway, you can park in your driveway. <laughs> I'm just imagining a tank in a driveway now. Okay. If you play War Thunder, you either love or hate this tank. It's the T-72. Now, you can get this from the Czech Republic for $50,000 because they want to replace their tanks with NATO tanks like most countries in that general area. So this is a good deal that you could snap up. And like I said, you might like this. It's got three crew members due to the auto loader. Like I said, with a full combat load. And you could probably fit a few more people. This is the T-80. No, I'm not joking. Yes, I'm serious. Technically, you could get one of these for $3 million. It uses a gas turbine engine, so it's probably not street legal. But who cares about that? If you have enough property for it, this might be a decent buy. Also, in-game, you can now turn on night vision during the day. On all tanks with night vision. But yeah. I recommend the T-80 to anyone who has a ton of disposable income. This might be a fun tank to drive. I mean, to be fair, I think any tank would be a fun tank to drive. Drive. But I think the T-80 would be especially fun. And this is generally a rugged tank. I mean... I think it's very hard to break a tank under most circumstances that you will be able to throw at it, but I don't know what you can actually do to your tank. Like I said, three million dollars. Very expensive. I assume it would be fun to drive, especially if you have enough property for it. This is the T-34. Now, this goes for about $3,000. So not too expensive. But, like I said, not insanely cheap. It crews 5 or 4, depending on the variant. The T-3485 crews 5. Other T-34s only crew four. Now, an interesting fact about this tank, the designer actually took it from, I believe it was St. Petersburg? Yes. I think it was called Leningrad at the time, to Moscow to prove how rugged it was. Bear in mind, this was during a Soviet winter. Let that sink in. Yeah. This might be a good buy. Ah, uh, you may love it or you may hate it. Now, tanks aren't street legal in the U.S. 
So, you're not going to get to drive any of these. Sorry. And look out for those darn R3s. <laughs> hey guys. Sorry this was mostly Soviet tanks. Also, I'm sorry about some of the echo that was there. I'm going to bring this back. And... Sorry the most expensive tank didn't top out at 4.3 million. I had to cut the M1 because it just wasn't working at all. Anyways, if you're here, thank you for making it to the end. Be sure to like the video. If you really liked it, be sure to subscribe. And that's Mellow Panzer signing out.